uh, works for a large software company right here in the neighborhood. And we're not allowed to say the name of it, but it rhymes with Bikronoft. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joe Robinson. Give him a hand, Joe Robinson. Did I do that right? Thank you, thank you guys, thanks for coming out. My name's Joe Robinson, I'm originally from Maine. Any, anybody here from Maine? I think so. I would recognize you if you were. Okay, no, I, I live in Washington State now, and uh, I'm a, uh, starting a family, I'm a new parent. Uh, being, thank you. Thank you. being a parent's great. Uh, all the other parents know exactly how you feel, and none of the other parents know anything about what's going on. Um, I'll give you guys an example. So if you're at the grocery store, I'm at the grocery store with my son, and uh, really, when you're at the grocery store with your son, how good or bad they are is inversely proportional to how much time you have there to do shopping. So if you just need to run in real quick and get some hard liquor and get out with your son, he's gonna be a nightmare. So, uh, so if you're in the grocery store and, and your son's behaving, Right? This is when you have a lot of time. And your son's behaving, maybe he's sitting there on, uh, on your phone, watching Netflix, trying to catch up on season two of House of Cards, <laughs> uh, something like that. Um, the people who are not parents, this is exactly what you shouldn't do, okay? They come right into your son's face. He's not doing anything. Oh, you're cute. What are you watching? How old are you? What's your name? Lady. Lady, please. I mean, my son's being quiet. You don't have to get in his face, right? The, the people that are parents, they just quietly acknowledge you, right? It's, it's a signal, you know. Yeah, good, cute son, right? Thank, good job. Good by you. Keeping him quiet. <laughs> now, if your son's, if your child is not behaving, right? So they're they're having a full meltdown. I'm talking like Fukushima, all three, right? This is bad. Uh, they, you guys have all seen it, I'm sure. The kid just, like goes limp. They just collapse right in the aisle, screaming, no, I don't want to buy bananas, Dad. I don't want to buy apples, Dad. Like, really? Like, is this the end of your life right here? <laughs> uh, so if you see people that are not parents, their first reaction to this is usually, oh my god, what did he do to that kid? <laughs> What's happening? Um, Unless maybe if you're in Bellevue, like say you're at Whole Foods in Bellevue, if you see someone that's not a parent, they're like, my kids would never act that way. <laughs> my nanny would never allow it. <laughs> but the people that are parents, like that's fine. That, then you can actually be loud as you want, because it doesn't matter. The kids are not going to do anything, right? So then they can laugh at you, they smile. And then sometimes they just do a hand gesture, like, <laughs> they, know, they know what you're feeling. So, uh, being, a, being a parent is kind of like driving a Jeep. It's the same thing as driving a Jeep. Uh, so if you drive a Jeep, I don't know if you guys know this, uh, if you're driving your Jeep down the road and you see another person with a Jeep, they actually wave at you. Right? And then you have to wave back. It's a signal. It's like parents, it's a, it's a secret signal. It's, a lot of, it's true, it's true. There's a lot of cars that have this. Uh, I can t I'll teach you guys some of them. So, uh, if you if you drive a Volkswagen microbus, somebody knows what that is. It's a it's a little bus that the Volkswagen made in the '60s, kind of like a hippie van. You know, if you if you drive a microbus and you see another microbus, you have to do this. <laughs> and then do it back, right? <laughs> If you, if you drive a Hummer, if you're cruising in the urban jungle in your Hummer, <laughs> and you see someone else with a Hummer, Hummer's a very patriotic, patriotic car, right? If you see another Hummer, you have to do this. <laughs> the salute. And you have to hold it until the other guy salutes you back. Then you can do it. Okay, so if you drive, if you drive a Toyota Camry, Toyota Camry is a very practical car. Probably a lot of people are in this audience that have a Toyota Camry. So if you drive a Toyota Camry, you have to do this. <laughs> Not to drive a Camry would be 
illogical. <laughs> May your Camry live long and prosper. <laughs> If you, if you drive a minivan, so I'm a new dad, right? If you drive a minivan, this is the signal you do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. CPS said I couldn't do that anymore. So. <laughs> now I just do this one. <laughs> uh, let's see, so sports cars are fun. Sports cars are, are like for middle-aged men who are follically challenged. Uh, if you see, ooh, sorry. If you see someone with someone with a, if you drive a, so a Corvette, so you drive a Corvette, right? If you see someone else driving a Corvette, you actually do this. It's the, it's, a, it's the same way that I do the Dougie. Oh, over. I can teach you guys after the show if you want to know that dance. Okay. Uh, so, if you drive a, a Porsche, the last one, I know you guys are getting tired, right? It's, if, you drive a, if you drive a Porsche, a Porsche is like a sexy car, am I right? It's a sexy car. It says, I have a lot to offer if I drive a Porsche. So if you drive a Porsche, this is the hand signal you have to give. Thank you, thank you guys. <laughs>